Boy, if you don't get <laughs> So we got a piece like this. So I'm probably gonna take like this one right here. Hey my little lattes, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I seal these snow globe glass cans. This is what the snow globe cans look like. I'll also like insert a few videos of other colors that I've made. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. And I'll also insert a better video. Hopefully you guys can see this. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how I seal these. And remember, I do carry these in my website. I'm not sure if you guys are actually following me over from Instagram or not. But on Instagram, I pretty much share all of these things with you guys. And then let me show you guys actually what it looks like when there's no glitter inside. So this is just the box. And Bruh. then comes like this so it's just a clear glass can so as you can tell it is a double wall glass can and then here is the bottom it already comes with a hole and then all you do is add the glitter the uh, mixture that you're gonna use and then you go ahead and seal it so I'm gonna share all of that in today's video the glitter that I used in this no globe glass can is my little lattes glitter i do have like my own glitters now i have my own shop where we have like glass cans like the ones i'm showing you guys these here um i do also have like regular glass cans like the clear ones the pink tinted glass cans and i also have glitter so let me show you guys a few of my favorites the glitter is a uh, great for projects like these snow globes we shared with you guys how to make the starbucks snow globes as well here is one of my favorites this one is acai here is taffy it's another really pretty purple um we also have moi here which is this blue here there's so many colors you guys are all up on my uh shopify website which will be linked down below all of these are so pretty you can use either of these to make your snow globe glass cans or regular snow globes in fact if you guys are interested in any of those items i do have those listed down below but before we go any further i did want to mention that today's video is sponsored by dossier thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video dossier is a fragrance company i have mentioned them before they do have like dupes for high-end fragrances you guys already know but high-end fragrances can range anywhere from $50 to sometimes well over $350 so with these dupes they are actually uh, full-size 50 milliliter bottles and they look like this these two have been two of my favorites this one is fruity almond this one is uh, floral grapefruit this floral grapefruit is a dupe for the Chanel Oh, this one smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it, but they do also include usually a uh, sample size. So you can smell that if you don't like it. You do have like 30 days to return these, exchange them for a new product, whatever you want. Not only is the actual packaging cute, they smell amazing. You guys can check them out. They also have like Versace. They have uh, Tom Ford. They have all sorts of high-end fragrance dupes again and they also recently added candles so i do have this one and i've had it for a couple months this is the floriental vanilla uh, fragrance so check them out you guys i do have a code down below that you guys can use to save money as well as the direct link to their websites but let's go ahead and get started with today's video again i'm showing you guys how to seal the bottom of these glass cans Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start from the beginning. So right now I just added glitter into the snow globe. So that's what it looks like. I'm using um, the glitter from my shop, but the name of the glitter is Little Latte. This is how it looks after I've already added the uh, glitter inside. And remember, the actual hole is about two to three millimeters wide. So you do have to keep in mind that the glitter can't be like, um, big clay pieces or something like that like it has to just be like small small glitter the chunky glitter that i sell on my website is is fine to use into um these glass cans i'm gonna go ahead and take off this tape real quick your mixture is just gonna be whatever you want it to be guys um i do a little bit like half and half maybe a little bit more glycerin just to not make it too too thick 
I like the way that these look when they're a little bit more runny. But let me go ahead and uh, show you guys the glycerin that I use. I've mentioned this one before. It is the same one. It's the Raw and Rare Vegetable Glycerin. It looks like this. And it's also linked in my description down below. Alright guys, so I've already made my mixture here for my snow globe. And you're going to start to pour it into the hole. Okay, so now I'm just getting the um, glycerin into the snow globe glass can. So I'm going to do a little bit more than half of it. I don't know if you guys can see there. Like that much. And I'm still going to go ahead and shake it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cover the hole and just shake it all up. So that there's not a lot of air in there. Just to try to get all of the air out of here, all any air bubbles. And then the way you know that the air bubbles are all out is when you turn it, it's not stuck up at the rim. As you guys can see, I still have to get this glitter down. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of it. So I'm going to continue filling this up and as it gets closer to here, just tilt it okay so that looks pretty full there and then you can see the air bubbles like as they get closer to the hole so you can always just add however much you like all right guys so now i'm just cleaning it and making sure to get all of the glycerin out of here um nothing can be coming out and we need to make sure that it's completely clean it's kind of like the same thing as the um snow globe just make sure there's nothing around the hole and then i'm just going to be doing it pretty much the same way I use these here. These are the Gorilla Glue Dots. Um, I do also have these linked. And then I'm also going to be using the UV Resin. So this is the one I use here. This has been working just fine. So both of these things. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the Glue Dot. And now the Glue Dot is like a, a little circle like this, as you guys can tell. And I'm just going to take one of the Glue Dots, which looks like this. I'm actually going to cut it into fourths. So just take like an X-Acto knife or whatever. You can maybe even do this with scissors, but it's a little hard because it's so small. But you're going to cut it in half and then in half again. Boy, if you don't get <laughs> so we got a piece like this. So I'm probably going to take like this one right here. And I just need a little piece of it. So I'm going to take off that like other clear piece I don't even know if you guys can see that but I'm gonna try to put this onto the hole and then I'm also gonna like smear it around like I would do with the um, snow globes the Starbucks snow globe tumblers so here's the little glue dot and then we're gonna place it on the hole we're gonna place it like this press and then I just ripped it off so I know it's a little hard to tell because it's because of the glitter you can barely see it but the glue dot is here so I'm gonna just use my exacto knife you can use like tweezers or something else a weeding tool maybe to just smear on the glue dot try not to you know press it too hard because you're gonna puncture it and then it's gonna leak um so once it's all smeared on and the hole looks to be covered I'm going to go ahead and take my UV resin, and you got to work quickly with this. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit. So just like that. And then move it around just a little bit, because you don't want this to be bumpy at all. You want it to be like as flat as possible. All right, so I hope you guys can see the uh, UV resin right there. It's already on, and it looks like it covered the hole completely. So I'm going to go ahead and place it under the UV light for one minute and then I'm gonna do it again for another minute okay so it's done curing but I'm gonna do one more minute 
So I'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, so it just turned off and it should be done now. So let me show you guys what it looks like. And I can touch it. Nothing. Everything looks good. Remember, we do want it to be as flat as possible. As you guys can see, there's no bump or anything. Okay, guys. So after you shake it up and everything, this is what it'll look like. And the bottom is completely sealed, as you can see there. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for today's video as you guys can see this is what it looks like once it is done don't forget i do have all of the products linked down below and also my shopify and everything will be linked down below for you guys as well don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already and i will see you guys in the next one